What we are saying is have a heart. We've got to be able to regenerate our people. There will be people who are kind, people who are cruel, but that's life. You can be bigger than about the I'm fine with that. Can I move now to the yeah. cost of <laughs> treatment of AIDS for infected people oh. compared to what it cost before? What is what what does it cost to treat AIDS today? HIV, not AIDS. Yeah. Okay, Th this is where Singapore stands out. We are the developed country mm. in a region surrounded by uh, developing countries. The developing countries get a different rate from that of developed mm. countries. Different rate from. In the pharmaceutical companies? Drugs. Absolutely. Hmm. We, we, Singapore is considered a top tier country. We get top tier rates for the medications. <laughs> so to be really honest, it is very prohibitive. We are talking for a good regimen, it will cost close to $1,000 for the real drugs, the genuine drugs. $1,000 over what period? Per month. Per, per month. month. Per okay. month. But it used to cost a lot more than this. Um, well, well, it's always been about that. Uh, well, plus yeah, well, there's, there's been some negotiation with the drug companies to reduce the cost. But yeah, but still not um, enough. There's always a fight because the companies need to recruit the money to pay for the research and whatnot. Now, coming back for the developing countries nearby, they get a developing countries mm -hmm. rate and it's much cheaper. How much? Um, it, it could just be a couple of hundred dollars. Or more. Now, in addition. Some things have happened in the HIV world, which is actually availability of generics. Uh, mm -hmm. Complete disregard of patencies, and a company will make the drugs and make it available for the country or for other people. Now, it is no, it is well known secret that HIV medications are available in generics in Singapore. Okay, it, is, it, can, be, it can be purchased from the right places and right sources. Mm -hmm. I do not recommend anyone to go hivmedicine.com or whatever and getting online. Mm. Come to the Why? Right. Why don't you recommend it? Is it because it is you not... Can't verify the source. You can't verify the source. And Absolutely. it may not be effective or what? It may not be effective mm. and I know there are people who would make, get a pill, split it into <laughs> two and make Johnson baby powder as the other rest of the pill. <laughs> and then you get half the potency. Okay, so you contaminate the drug, you half the drug. So that creates trouble instead. Get your medications from the correct sources. If you go for generic medications, we have cheap regimens with some side effects costing about $60 a month. No issues. Okay, if you can't afford $60 per month, go and stand up and do dishes in a Japanese restaurant. You will be able to afford $60 a month. Okay, the alternative is that if you ha can afford a bit more, go for a better class of generics, which will cost up to two hundred dollars a month. And if you know how to do it, wish the doctors in Singapore who do HIV medicine will be very glad to point you to, will tell you how to get the medications, good medications, good sources, first class medications, which is afforded in the United States in Australia at a lot more reasonable prices. Legally? Legally, in inverted commas. <laughs> you must understand that there are copyright laws in Singapore. And we have to respect the companies which actually set up a business here. But we also need to recognize that if we don't help these people, they will die. If you can share our bias club, it's no, secret. Well, it's no secret about the bias club. <clears throat> yeah. Well, what Dr. Um, Long has shared is essentially um, the bias club. So if anyone is diagnosed uh, and they can't afford to buy or original drugs from hospitals, then speak to your medical social workers or speak to your doctors. They'll be more than happy to point um, to either to AFA or they themselves. Some of the hospitals will have access to some of the bias club who go to Thailand to buy drugs um, in and they can be generic or original but they're usually cheaper. much cheaper and reliable um, and reliable yeah I've been on generics for the past five years my viral load is zero but yes there are some side effects mild side effects but very manageable like 
um, diarrhea, nausea, um, from time to time, um, weaker skin, um, yeah, and the long run. But this is this is quite similar with many long term medication, um, liver problem, kidney problem. But drink more water, exercise, mm. watch your diet. Yeah. So on this on this side effects, a lot of them are manageable. Yeah. And if there's an issue, speak to the doctor. Don't stop the medications, mm -hmm. and we'll tailor and change something around. Yeah. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Back ten years ago, you only stuck with so a handful of drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Now we really have a buffet to select from. Yeah. But you know, would the people that go to her Thai shows come to you? Are you reaching out to the whole of Singapore and do they know that by coming to these sources like your buyers club and doctors in the know and all that, that they can get access <laughs> to good medicine to treat their, their condition? The doctors know it. The patients know it. But those who have not been tested, who have not been counselled, do not know it. And this is where the point comes in. Education. Okay. I want to know whether the government is doing enough. Is um, the treatment of this condition in Singapore uh, being handled adequately, being handled well by the authorities, or could more be done? Well, I think definitely more can be done. In what areas? Well, I think in demonstrating political will to deal with the issue. Is there a lack of political will? Yes. Can you illustrate that? Well, if you look at countries that have actually dealt well with HIV, it's been the top politicians and leaders who've gotten involved and basically made it a priority issue. Our top leaders in Singapore won't even touch it. They won't because it's not such a serious condition. It's only 469 cases a I year. I think they right? want to stay away from it. It's Why? too controversial. Mm. Is it yeah. an Asian mentality that they want to keep away no. from the association? No, I think it's just very controversial. You've got a very conservative, as we've discussed, you have a very just, you know, conservative population. There's a lot of, you know, controversy between the religious right. And so what you're suggesting is that if anybody stands up, if any politician stands up as an aid advocate, there may be a fallout. Well, we do have, you know, Dr. Amy Kaur, who's, mm. you yeah, know, heading up the AIDS mm -hmm. committee, you know, but she doesn't really have the same political clout as, you know, somebody who's higher up. Who's not a doctor. Pardon? Who's not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not whether the person's a doctor or not that makes a difference. It's basically saying that it's worth, that HIV and the whole AIDS epidemic is something we can talk about. And it makes it legitimate to talk about it and to start dealing with some of the stigma that's involved. Okay, now they're looking at the pioneer generation. Maybe a wish list is that the next thing we look at would be the AIDS, AIDS uh, patients, right? They might not just look at HIV and AIDS specifically, but just look at the health care and improving yeah. the health care for, for Singaporeans and PR in general. Okay. But apart from endorsement, yeah. um, is the government doing enough in terms of treatment that the, the disease isn't that in such a bad shape in Singapore? It seems to be reasonably under control, right? Well, no. I, no. Still, tell me. You know, I still think the cost of the drugs is too high for, for people. I mean, why have we got to go through this whole rigmarole for people to get access to, to, to treatment. Well, so why has it got to be so expensive? Why can't it be subsidized yeah. effectively, more effectively for people? I mean, I when I first came here, I watched people dying in Ward 76 because they didn't have the funds to pay for the drugs. I have a question. If Paddy were alive today, yeah, Paddy I Chew, know Paddy. would he yeah. have been able to survive <coughs> under the... Probably the treatment that is that is available to you? Yeah, probably. So it was not enough done at that time, but today you you seem to be able to doing well, to be doing well, so things may have improved. Yeah, well, I think, I the think, technology you know, has also improved. Yeah. The technology yeah. <laughs> has improved, but also that, you know, the sick, for, for Alvin, 
his HIV may be very different to somebody else's. So it's very difficult to, to kind of, everybody's different. And I count myself lucky because the many people that we see, they, they, can't, they still can't afford and if you make them go through the, the whole process of getting married fun, um, no one wants to do it because if I'm diagnosed, then Medifund would have to go and interview my parents, interview my family. I have to, some of them are told to, maybe you can consider selling a flat, downgrade, and then extra money you can use. So how do you fund your, your condition? I can, well, I'm okay, so I can, I can manage it. Um, Not through Medifund? Yeah, Medifund. but I'm, I'm saying, yeah, no. So I'm saying people who can't afford it, um, oh, who have their lost job. their jobs, yeah. correct. Who have been abandoned by their families and they have no one to turn to mm. and ah, they're very, li very limited terrible. subsidy available. Paddy had friends who were supporting him but I don't think the treatment at that time saved, could save no. him. He couldn't afford it probably. No, I think he had friends all around that were contributing. But during Paddy's time, generics were already available. Yeah, that's Singapore. true. That's true. Mm -hmm. They were available. They were already available. Yeah, heart was available basically starting about 96. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I'm not familiar with Paddy's case, but I'm quite sure there may be some other undercurrent issues. Mm -hmm. but, but coming back, if a person, the point I want people, the listeners to take back is this. You have a person that's a HIV positive, we catch you early and we treat you before the symptoms of the disease appear. I or any other doctor in the community in Singapore can get the person to live to 80 years old. 78 and above is not an issue. The choice is yours. Get tested, start living.